five finance questions when building a new ethanol plant. Number one, how much investment is required? To answer this question, we need a budget of the required capital expenditures in order to build the plant. And we have to go line by line. Well, how much land is required? How much does it cost to build the buildings, the equipment, etc., etc.? Also important to note is that when we start to operate the plant, we actually also will require some networking capital. So we should acquire a budget for these costs as well. Number two, what, how much will be the annual revenues? To answer this question, this mostly depends on the size of the plant. So we need to define the annual production target. We need to know what will be the conversion ratio so we can assess how much corn, for instance, we need to input or any other uh, feedstock and how much will be the annual output. By calibrating this, we get the volumes and then we need to talk with a potential customer to get an idea about the achievable price. Having this will allow us to forecast the revenues of such a plant. Number three, annual costs. In order to answer this, we need to go through our expected costs. We have on the one side, we have direct costs. These mostly depend on volume, uh, can be consumables, but also um, utility costs. And on the other hand, we will need to go through our operating expenses and also including the annual employee costs. Number four, free cash flows. How will the free cash flow forecast look like? In order to answer this question, we need to build a comprehensive forecast. And when doing this, we need to basically pull together the profits and then translate this into free cash flows. So what we, the way to do this is to start here at the, from the EBIT, we deduct uh, taxes, we add back depreciation, change in networking capital, capex, cash reserve, if we have one, and this will give us the free cash flows this plant is expected to produce. Number five, IRR and payback. Now that we have a free cash flow forecast, what we need to do is we need to see how this cash flow forecast translates into IRR and payback. For payback, you can see that basically here after year eight, the accumulated free cash flows get positive. This means the, uh, the cash flows basically pay for the initial investment. For the IRR, we have a formula down here and we can basically calculate what will be the IRR for this plant. And that's it. Five questions from finance people whenever you need to build your next ethanol plant.